Hey everyone, good morning. I'm uh, doing a uh, an egg fast, what I eat in a day today. Um, just to, I'll, I'll probably do a couple of those this, this week so that um, you can just see what a day of egg fast looks like. Um, if you saw my January 1st video, what, you know, what my plans are for January, you'll know that the first five days I'm doing an egg fast and um, I'll link that below so that you can you can kind of see my um, hear my logic and and why I'm doing it um, and uh, then I'll be moving on to other things but uh, in the meantime it's all about the eggs and the butter so uh, I'm just going to show you my breakfast so for breakfast I'm going to have two eggs and I've got these, um, I call them buns, egg fast buns. Um, you will have seen those in my prep video, um, which I will also link. So basically one of my favorite things to do is I cut these eggs in half and I like them kind of, you know, where the whites are hard and the yolk is still runny. I'm going to just warm this up in the microwave real quick and then put my butter on top. I had to take my coffee out because I left it in there accidentally. So uh, these are warm and all I do is just then put my tablespoon of butter on top and let it melt. And I will put some salt on top. There we go. So um, the this is one egg, one fat. This is two eggs, one fat. So I will have to make up a fat uh, somewhere in the day today. I could even put that extra fat in my coffee if I wanted to. Um, I've done that before. Oh, shh, mommy's talking. Teddy wants to come up and say hi, hello, happy new year and all that stuff. Okay, so, um, that's my breakfast. Stay tuned because I'm coming back. I have to go out for lunch with a friend. We're not going out, everything's closed, um, but I'm going to her place and we're going to have lunch. She is a vegan. <laughs> so I'm bringing my own lunch and uh, you know she knows that we determined that ahead of time. And so I am, when I come back in the next segment, I'm going to make air fryer Italian eggs. Um, it'll be my first time. It's a, it's a new recipe I'm kind of making up. Uh, well, I kind of made it up in my head and now it's coming to fruition on this video. So stay tuned. I'll be back in the next segment. Hi everyone, I'm back. I've had my breakfast. I decided I better put a tablespoon of butter in the rest of my coffee so I don't forget to have it later. Um, it it can be hard to keep track of the, you know, how many eggs, how how many fats in a day. Now there is an app, and I'm going to link it below. And I'm going to put it back on my phone too. Um, it's free, and it's just called Egg Fast Tracker app. Um, there's an Android and iPhone version. Uh, my son actually wrote it. <laughs> he wrote it uh, for me and my Egg Fast cronies, uh, Egg Fast friends, whatever. So uh, I've just dropped a tablespoon of butter in here. I'm going to try not to get this everywhere. Hopefully my battery is still, yep, there it goes. I'm just, just whipping it up. This way I know that uh, I have not forgotten that one. And I'll put all the totals down in the video notes below with all the appropriate links to whatever whatever I've done. But um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you how creamy and foamy this looks now. There you go. When you do that, when you whip your butter like that, it does taste like cream. So if you're someone who likes cream in your coffee... Mm, Okay, so I'm going to make my lunch that I'm bringing along to my friend's place. And uh, I have not tried this. Uh, 
Steady. Here. There you go. I haven't tried this yet, um, but I, I got the idea from someone on Facebook who mentioned that they they just cook their eggs in, a, in their air fryer. And they just mix them up and throw them in um, their little doohickey here. Egg bites, that's what these are. Uh, I bought this for my Instant Pot. So the egg bites, they just make eggs and put it in the air fryer and that's that. So I thought, ooh, I'm going to uh, try to come up with a, an egg fast recipe. Uh, and I'm going to use Italian seasoning. If you're in Vancouver or near in the Lower Mainland, uh, go to the Gourmet Warehouse and buy this. This is the best Italian seasoning. I love it. Um, I think they also deliver within Canada. Um, and I don't know, if, if anyone ever finds this in the States, let me know so that I can provide that link for um, people in the U.S. It's really good. Anyways, your favorite Italian seasoning. I'm going to use, uh, <clears throat> so I've grated some cheddar cheese and uh, I'm going to use mayo in here. So I've got three tablespoons of mayo. I have a whisk. I'm going to put three eggs in here. And I'm going to whisk that together. Uh, what the mayonnaise does with eggs is it makes them nice and creamy. It's like, it's as though you've added something like cream cheese. And it's a good way to disguise your fats, you know, use them up. If you haven't done the egg fast before, it's one tablespoon fat to every egg. Um, <clears throat> the macros end up being 85% fat. 10% protein, 5% carbs, because eggs and cheese uh, do have small amounts of carbs. He rolled it under there again. The little scamp. Uh, I'm going to put in some salt, just a pinch of, maybe two pinches, of Redmond's, and I think I'm gonna just put in a a nice healthy pinch, half a teaspoon, probably. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into here now. Oh, I think I'm gonna spray these. Okay, I've got some coconut oil spray. I'm going to spray that. And I'm not sure how many cups this is going to fill up, so I'll go half full. I want to make six bites. I don't know why they made this thing an uneven number. It drives me crazy. It's probably the OCD in me or something, but it drives me completely insane because then you have an uneven amount of egg bites. So I never fill up the middle hole. And so, you know, working out the macros drives me crazy. So I like nice, easy math even though I'm an accountant. Maybe because I'm an accountant, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to know the way my brain works sometimes. So I have made what I hope is six evenly spaced out or evenly measured out egg bites. I have one and a half ounces of cheese here and I'm going to try to spread that out evenly too. So what you'll end up with here is that two egg bites will equal one egg and one fat. Easy math. And a half ounce of cheese, of course. If you have one of those round air fryers, this should fit in there too. Um, I've already, I did already put it in my air fryer to see if it would fit and it does. So um, actually I'll just get, get started. I've got it on 360 and I'm going to let it go for 10 minutes. It'll tell me when to add the food. Looks like the air fryer, I'll turn this off.
Okay, I'll be back in 10 minutes and we'll see what we have. Whoa, look at these things. They look like uh, popovers or something. They're so big and poofy. I think they'll they'll shrink down as they as they cool. Now be careful removing this from uh, your air fryer because it is really hot. I have this silicone glove because the oven mitts are too bulky to get my hand in there. Um, but even oh yeah, I can see. Look at they're they're sinking they're sinking in front of my eyes. Um, but they look really cool. They smell good. Um, so I'm kind of excited to rip one open and just see how it looks inside. I think it'll be very similar to egg muffins, egg fast muffins, which are basically the same thing. But yeah, you can see them sinking down into the, uh, into the little holes, which is fine. But this to me looks like it hopefully will be a good lunch and uh, I'm going to take it with me to my friends, whether they taste good or not. So I'm going to put them in here and then uh, just gonna give them a couple more minutes to cool and then I will just cut one open so you can see what it looks like. So far to me, it looks like a cheesy, eggy extravaganza. So, it's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna take a bite. So there's the inside. Really hang on to it this time. So there's the inside. Well, I almost lost it again. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks like a, one of those egg muffins. be eating this anyway so just take a bite mm -hmm. <laughs> egg bites Italian air fryer egg bites these are a keeper this is my lunch I will put the details down below um, or uh, if, if it ends up on my website, a link to that so you can print out the recipe card. Um, you know, there's a lot happening this month, so I'm, I'm doing my best try, trying to make the information easy for people to access. So, don't know yet what I'm going to have for dinner. Um, it might involve some egg noodles that I made and need to use up, so we'll see. Um, depends on how the day goes. So I will see you in the next segment back for dinner and then and I'll also give a summary of how many eggs I ate, how many fats, etc. So uh, we'll see you guys back in the next segment. Hi everybody, I am back. I'm about to just make myself a quick dinner. I, but I did want to uh, mention about the air fryer egg bites that I made for lunch. Those were so good. I took them with me and I was going to warm them up when I was at my friend's, but I ended up just eating them right out of the container and they were so good. Like I really like those. So I was trying to think for those people who don't have an air fryer, I would suggest that you make them in a six uh, cavity muffin pan. This would be even better. So I would suggest putting that same batter into, you know, one of these options, baking it in the oven, say at 350 for about 10 minutes, and then sticking it under the broiler for a couple of minutes to kind of simulate that air fryer um, effect of making the top of the egg fast, uh, egg bites, um, kind of crunchy with that cheese on top. So just wanted to offer that option for those. Oh, sorry, there's one more thing I wanted to mention. I got hungry uh, when I was back. And so I had one of my lemon bars. These are the new lemon bars that I've reworked. So, um, so I made those in the prep video, which I will link below. Uh, they're very similar. The recipe is very similar to my 
original lemon bars, which are on my site. Those also are really good. One of my favorite egg fast recipes. They are more of a custard, whereas this is more like a lemon brownie. It's got that moist um, kind of cake-like texture. I don't know really how to, how to describe it, um, except that it's really good. So watch my prep video to get that recipe because it's so good. And one that bar I just showed you equals one egg and one fat, one tablespoon fat. So you're, you're getting your ratios in one small snack. So what am I making for dinner? I'm actually going to try frying up some of the noodles that I made the other day. Um, I think you should have seen that video by now, um, or it could be about to be published. I, I don't know, I've got, I've got all kinds of content everywhere, all over my computer right now, so I'm hoping that everything gets published in the right order. If you remember, if you did watch that video, one and three quarter cups of these noodles that I made equals one egg. So I will be adding, and I'm not really that hungry, so I'm happy to have a dinner that only involves one egg <laughs> and one fat. Um, I'm actually kind of stuffed. And that's what happens on the egg fast. You, it kills your appetite real quick. So I'm just measuring out my noodles here. I'm, I still need to rinse them. And then I'm just going to fry them in, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to fry them in some butter, like toss them, saute them in some butter and add a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese so that I've got, you know, kind of some cheesy, cheesy noodles. And I mean, this is like having just a small dish of pasta for dinner. Um, and I think that'll be plenty for me. And if I get hungry later on tonight, I have egg fast ice cream <laughs> in the fridge. And um, I, I think hopefully that video is also out if you wanted to watch that. Um, so yeah, nobody's starving here. Like I'm, I'm literally, I've got so much food in there from the prep that I did, which is, which is really good. I've got you pointed at my frying pan here. I've got my um, my noodles, my egg noodles are draining. And I've got my cheese measured out and my tablespoon of butter. So I'm just going to turn on the heat and let that butter melt. So I think this will actually taste pretty good. When I was a kid, my mom used to make egg noodles all the time homemade of course you know she she was very she was very frugal we we did not have much when i was growing up and uh, she could uh, make something out of anything like literally it just from i don't know i don't know how she did it but we ate a lot of egg noodles with butter and a little cheese sprinkled on top and sometimes you know that that was what we had and I have very fond memories of that. <laughs> so I think I'm going to like this. All right, the noodles feel pretty good. I didn't, I didn't soften them. I will link up to the video where I made these noodles. These are based on Asian flavors noodles. I'll put her uh, video link in the description down below as well um, because you know she deserves some credit for this recipe. Uh, now what I did to make it egg fast friendly is instead of using her amounts, I just changed it to be three eggs, three whole boiled eggs, and, um, and I went from there. So it seems to have worked, and you know, just a simple little tweak made it egg fast friendly. So I'm kind of excited about this. I don't think it's going to take too, I don't want to overheat them. I'm not sure if they're going to melt uh, while I'm doing this. So I'll put in some of my favorite Italian seasoning, because why not? That seems to be the route we're going here. You can use minimal amounts of condiments on the egg fast. 
uh, to give it some flavor. And uh, sometimes that can make the difference between sticking to it and not. Need some salt there, and I'm going to put in my my cheese. And wow, look at this! This looks this actually looks and smells really good. So I'm just going to dry out this bowl here. Wow, that was fast. Right. So there, there it is. Let me try this. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I can hardly believe it. That I mean, this. It's been over a year since I've been on the egg fast. This might be one, one of the better things I've ever tasted. Um, this is really good. Now, I know some of you don't make those noodles with, you know, the the sodium alginate. I'm going to link that video so you, so you know what I'm talking about. This is using spherification. I have an alternative to this, and I'm actually in the next what I eat in a day video I will use that alternative and I'll link you down to um, the recipe that I've developed for that as well so it's um it's different from there are a couple of egg fast noodle recipes out there but they're cheese they're, they're uh, cheese heavy and I don't like to make things that are cheese heavy so um, yeah, so don't get sad if you don't want to make these noodles because the other noodles are, are pretty good too, actually. I really want to eat this while it's hot, so I'm going to let you guys know, go now. And uh, stay tuned for more Egg Fast recipes this week. Um, I'm updating the book, the ebook that I have, uh, with all everything new that I make this week will all end up uh, on, in there. Um, and on my site. If you guys want more information, just read down below and you'll find links to some of my recipes and my guides. Here, come here. He just wants to come up and say hello. There, see? There you go. Look, look. Yeah. You just want to know what I'm eating. Okay, so I'll let you guys go and we'll see you next time. Um, I will also write down below how many eggs and, and like I'll summarize my, my meals and write down how many eggs and fats. And I may or may not, depending on if I'm hungry, add some egg fast ice cream tonight. We'll see. Depends. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Say bye, Teddy. Say goodbye. So, there it is. That's uh, I just lost one. Oh my goodness. These things happen. I'm really sad that I lost one. That what that is going to do to my math, I have no idea. It's going to I'm going to have to get out my calculator and maybe I was just so excited to have egg noodles with parmesan